When Bernie Kosar announced he was graduating early from the University of Miami to enter the NFL in 1985, the football world focused in immediately on the April 30th draft. But Kosar already had his eye on landing in Cleveland through the obscure supplemental draft in July. My father came up and was, was the one talking to me about the supplemental draft and the possibility of that. The rules has always been there, but no one had ever thought about it. The supplemental draft to that point hadn't really been used. Um, with people that maybe were worthy of a first round pick back then. Buffalo and Houston held the first two picks with neither needing a quarterback. Buffalo was locked into taking future Hall of Famer Bruce Smith. So Houston started entertaining trade offers, striking a deal with Minnesota so they could draft Kosar. When Brown's GM Ernie Accorsi announced his trade with Buffalo for their rights in the supplemental draft, it threw the draft into chaos, with Houston and Minnesota threatening to sue to stop the draft altogether. Commissioner Pete Rozelle left it to Kosar to decide, but allowed the Vikings and legendary coach Bud Grant time to try to convince him to go to Minnesota. It was complex enough trying to talk to Bud Grant and the attorneys from Houston who were trying to hold up the draft and hold up. And now all of a sudden I'm feeling like responsible for like my friends who aren't going to get drafted, <laughs> you know? But the Youngstown native wasn't budging in those talks. I just said I wasn't coming, but, and it wasn't because I didn't like you. I actually love you. I just, I love my mom and my family more. Houston would eventually drop the lawsuit after Minnesota refused to join in holding up the draft, clearing the way for Kosar to be drafted on July 2nd, fulfilling his lifelong dream of becoming a Cleveland Brown and leading not just the team, but the city in a turnaround. We talked earlier about the Cuyahoga River being on fire, the city going into bankruptcy in the 70s, the butt of national jokes. We needed help back then, just just not from a football team, from a from a family, from a community, and I, I wanted to be part of bringing us back.